Alright guys, welcome to a Farming Simulator 17 um, mod guide. Uh, I'm going to show you how to simply install mods a couple of ways, but it's really, really simple. Now, I will start off by saying I know there is plenty big famous YouTubers out there that do this thing for this type of game. that have got far more experience than me, but either, either so, I'm going to show you anyway, because it is really simple. Um, you don't really need to be a genius and have still mods on this because it is so simple. So anyway, let's get started. I'm going to do it in like a step guide. So I'm going to try and do it slow enough and easy enough so you can all understand. So basically, first thing you need to do, step one, is go and um, find a website that does mods for it. So the easiest thing to do is go onto Google or whatever search engine you may use and <coughs> sorry, such as Farm Simulator 17 mods. So this is one I've got up here, um, FarmingSimulator.com. There are pl a few good others. Um, so yeah, this is one I like to use. But there are a few good others that do have other mods. But most of the websites do tend to have the same. Um, but some websites do have more than others. Okay, and if you can hear birds chirping, I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, let's find a mod. Um, I think what I am going to do, there was one, this, I'm going to do this, now I did already try and record this, um, that's the reason why I'm doing this, but for some reason my recording didn't work, so I'm doing it again. So I'm going to go for this, but just to prove that I already haven't got this and this way does work, because I want to do that, so what you need to do is that depending on where your game saved and everything, but it should be under documents, um, my games. So I would have already had this up, but it doesn't take long. Look, Farmer Simulator 2017, the mods. So um, this contract the mod. I've got it down here as well. So you can see I've got a few mods. Uh, where's the actual? There, there's the mod. There's like a little XML script which you can customize. I'm going to do a separate video on that. But anyway, you can see the same, whatever it's called. I haven't already got that. I did have it, but I've uninstalled it. So it's not actually currently on. <coughs> so it's not there. So what I want to do is go back to this. Um, just put that on full screen a minute. And go to that. So step one, go to the mod website, find the mod. Um, well, step one is go to the mod website. Once you've found the mod, uh, once you've gone to it, you find the mod you want. And step two is just downloading it. And it's as simple as just clicking. Now, depending on what website you're on, um, I'll show you another website as well where the download might be different. But depending on what website you're on, the download bit will be different. So, and sometimes you want the zip fold, uh, file, but sometimes they may be different. And I'll try and show you that as well if I can. So, you just click download. And I did watch a video and one guy recommended you don't download the mod straight into your mod folder. Download it to separate. But I do that anyway, so I'm downloading it to my downloads. So we'll click save on that. So... Let me find a, another website as well, just to show you another typical one. So another good one is hmm, any of these three. There's four. Look, there's I think there's about five actually. So we'll do we'll just do FS mods. It's another a good mod. So another mod that I don't have. You can search. Um, okay, this tractor looks good. Agromash. It looks okay. Um, we'll download it. So, yeah, it's a track vehicle. Cool. Looks cool. So you just scroll down, and there will be a bit that says download here in a green box. It's very tricky because you've got all these other things you can download, but it's for something else. It's not for the mod. So you click download there. So again, this is step one. If you want to use this site, you can use this site. I tend to use the first site I just showed you. It's a lot easier and better. And then you've got the zip folder here. Um, usually I find on these other sites I show you, you can get RAR files, which I'll try. I've got one already downloaded, but I'll show you what I did with that. 
so you just click um, uh, where do you click download so I tend not to use this but you should have just so I think you have to do a few little clicks yeah so I click free download where it, it said the mod name and then just download file there and again just depending what internet you use your downloads will probably be in a slightly different area or you'll have a slightly different icon but mine's there so they're downloading so I'm going to show you two different ways now you can do this now these are both zip files so once you download your mod the third stage is you need to locate your mod folder for your game so which I've already done that um, so you can see a list of my mods so we'll do that and do that so uh, we'll do they're both like different mods but they're both the same type of mods so I'm going to show you two ways and how to get these into your mod folder. Let's open that back up. And where's. So you can double click on it. And I will remind you, or not remind you, I will tell you, you will need a zip program to open these. So, like, I use Bandy Zip, but Win, WinRAR, 7 Zip, something like that. Make sure you've got that program, one of them too, and you can get them free. So make sure you download one of them and got them installed. Now so I've just double clicked on that. So I think you can actually extract the mod straight into there. Or what I do is, well not what I do, but what you can do is you can just click this zip folder, the main folder, drag it in. And you can see that is extracting there. Now with this way, you've got to do an extra step. So what was the mod called? Agromash. So let's just look for the zip folder for agromash um, okay I know that's there but there should be a zip folder too okay no 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 okay no it's not I'm getting ahead of myself so when you drag the zip folder from there to there it comes into this folder sorry it comes into this like folder what you need to do is right click on it and again as long as you got I think I don't know if Windows has a built-in thing, but as long as you've got a zip program, um, you need to right-click on it and compress to, and then the name of the mod, to zip. Not 7Z, you just need it to a zip. So compress it to a zip, and now you can see Agrimash. It's there in the zip. So once you've done that, this folder now, you don't need it. Just delete it. Uh, bye bye it's gone you don't need it and I'll show you when I go into the game and go to the mod you'll see that it's on there now the other way which is a lot simpler you don't need to do that is so this one which I'm done you can actually now I use Firefox now I don't know if it's the same for Windows Explorer or Chrome but you can just click on it and drag it over and you can see it's put it there at the bottom but I haven't got any extra folders that I've got to unzip. So, just dragging and dropping, a lot simple, and it's there. Now, I do want to show you, I've already got it downloaded. Let's see if this works, because I couldn't find another one. Um, right, I've got a map autosave. If we open up the file, so, say we freshly downloaded it. You double click on it like I did with the other map on the, uh, the other mod on the first one and it'll open up. All you need is this zip folder. So you would just click it, drag it over. I'm just gonna replace it. Okay. Uh access the ride. My oh, it probably won't work because I've already got the game loaded up. But you would just click it and drag it over, and it, it works. I've got it on there, I'll show you. Um, again, but I think you can also extract it. But you don't need to. Just click it and drag it over. This, yeah, I think this is technically for like uh, Farm Simulator 15, because when you click on this, it's like the EXE, it says something, some error. So you don't need that, just the zip. Okay? So that would be quick recap. Step one, 
uh, find a, a mod website um, and find the mod you want. Step two is to download it. Step three is open up your, your mod uh, folder for your game, which is what I've got on the left there, and copy the mod or drag the mod into the thing. Step four is you want to make sure your game's loaded up. Okay, so which I've done already. So load up your game and go to mods. Now, what you can see is if I double click, you've got all this little bit where some other mods are, and this is the second bit I'm going to show you how to get more mods. So if you just double click on installed, you'll see, um, you'll automatically see I've already got some installed anyway. But if we go to, if we scroll across, you should see, uh, where are they? I might need to, I shouldn't need to, they should automatically be there. And so I might need to restart the game, but they should automatically be there. Right, let me just restart the game a minute. Back. Quit. It should automatically be there. Open up the game. You can do it that way or you can do it via Steam. It shouldn't really matter. But yeah, once you put the mod over, it should automatically go in. So there we go. You might need to restart the game. But there's that agrimash and it says it's installed. And there's the same. It's installed. So again, I'm not done anything fancy off camera. That is just straight. I've exited it, you saw me, and I've clicked onto it, and it's back there. So, no fancy tricks. Now, sometimes when you do install a mod, it'll come up that it needs an update, but I don't think I've got any. Where it says installed, it'll say update, and it'll probably have like a, a red circle with a number in at the top corner. So, you just need to click update. Yeah, you'll click update, it'll come up with another bit at the bottom. My mouse is, and you just click update again. And then once you click update, you just basically go back, and it'll update. Okay, and any that do need updating, it should be in the update there anyway. So that's it. That's all you need to do. Now I'll log, in, I'll load the game up and show you um, that the mods work. But another way of doing it is when you open up the game, you can get mods directly from the game. So again, you get the main menu, mods. So, for example, say I want a trailer. I think that one, by the way, I think maybe one update for a mod within this, within all this. I think I'm not sure, but you can scroll through, and I quite like the look of the grain trailer. I just want a normal, like a flatbed trailer. Um. But um, we'll get this. I made bail trailer. Um, I have all got a mod for an auto bail trailer, so this probably wouldn't be something that I would use because I've just used the auto bailer. But I'll tell you what, no, I won't. that's animal trailer. We'll do this. We'll get a silo trailer. So another way is you can get direct from game is you go to whatever category you want so I went to the trailers now scroll through find the one you want and again look they are rated with stars and it gives you the size but anyway find which one you want double click on it yeah it comes up with a little bit about it some images look and you know the price at the cost and that but you just click install and it tells you it was added to the download list so click OK, click back, and if you click, see, OK. I've got good internet, but usually mods will download pretty. Sorry, guys, I might have just confused you there. Just doing a quick voiceover. Um, you don't need to click downloads, what I'm on there. You only need to click that to see what's in the downloads part, so you can see what's downloading. But because these mods are quite small and I've got good internet, they download pretty quickly so by the time I clicked the downloads it was gone because it was already downloaded 
but you could see when I did click it there was a number there one was saying that there was one download in there but by the time I clicked it like I said it downloaded so yeah you don't really need to worry about downloads um, just go to what you've got installed and you can see what's installed and make sure that all your mods that you have installed are there so yeah um, just wanted to explain that but you can carry on watching the rest of the video now I'm going to show you this contractor mod too I'm going to show you something with that but I'm going to do that in a separate video but I'm going to call that straight after this so uh, let's do this agrimash okay we just need to rem remember agrimash Russian or Russian whatever it's called not Russian Russian so um, let's just go back um, let's just do a game now some of these mods may require a fresh game restart um, I'm hoping it should work on this file. I've only had what I've played like 28 minutes. I've not done enough. I, I've been doing a bit of testing, and all these are a bit of testing. Um, but let's just continue with that one. Now you'll get up here. Look, you'll get a list of all the mods that you've got. Now don't just click start. Make sure that all the mods that you want installed are ticked so usually they just automatically tick but for some reason some don't so like this new mod I've got Agrimash it's not so if I click start game and went to the store to try and find it it wouldn't be there so make sure that okay you just can't click it you need to click on it and then select select you can see there's a deselect all but there's no select all um, Maybe if I select that, select that, it would then change to select all. Maybe I don't know, but let me just scroll down. So again, other tractor. It hasn't automatically. So it should do the same for the same. It should be the same for the same. I click it, select. Um, we'll do it for that one, and that's it. Look, just make sure they're all ticked. That's it. So again even though you've got them on the installed list just make sure that they are actually ticked and active because otherwise they won't work once that's done press start so again that's what four steps find the website uh, find, the, right, find the mod you want and install it um, yeah find the mod you want download it then get to your mod folder and put the mod that you downloaded into the mod folder for load up the game basically go to install and make sure they're there if they need an update it'll tell you make sure they're updated um, and that's it and just basically go to career mode or whatever and start a game and the other way which I just showed you there is go to the mods in game and you can find mods that way too really quick and simple okay so that's loaded up Let's just click start and okay yeah we're already a bit out on the field so I'm just going to uh, quickly I think reset everything um, reset reset uh, if I got okay I don't know if I can reset my people Okay, I wanted to. Okay, let's just jump into that and get out. Okay, so I've got all some farmer equipment here. Now it looks like. Okay, I might have to start a new game. I just want to see that contractor mod. This should be like um, another seven extra people here. But I don't know where they are. Okay, never mind. I'm getting off track. I want to show you that the mod actually works. Now, you don't automatically get these tractors. Like, these tractors here, they're part of the map. They're already there. But the um, tractors, the mods I installed, you don't automatically, automatically get them. You do have to pay for them. So, if we just press P, you can also drive to the store if you want to. But if we just press P, it brings up the store. So... I had tractors, yeah? I want to do a tractor. So if I double click on tractors, and now we need to find the one. 
but to say was that the one I downloaded but no it usually says mod underneath if it's part of a mod so let's just scroll across uh, there's also a John Deere and there's some other ones here too but I'll show you though I think they possibly at the end yeah they're all at the end though so there's the one I, I didn't just download that but that was one I just activated um, but there's all these but there you go there's the same that's one I just installed it works this is a John Deere which I did yesterday um, but where is ah there we go the Al Pro Russian whatever it's called Apro yeah so there's that too so which is pretty cool so they all go to the end mm, it's quite cheap too um, so you can change the colour I don't think it actually changes no it doesn't actually change in the picture but when you buy it it will be the colour you change uh, if I go back because some do have more options and I'm pretty sure there you go look John Deere you can change like all the attachment, the wheel set up um, so you can change what you want which is pretty cool okay so some have more than others but you can see it works and that's all you do guys go out go ahead and farm your farm earn yourself money so you can buy all this new equipment um, if you really want to there are money mods um, but I believe you know that, that takes you know a lot of the fun out of it if you can just go ahead and buy your equipment but if you're new to it and you don't really have a lot of time to start wasting and you know you're not sure what you're buying and you might buy something wrong and it's a waste of money you know you can give yourself the money mod and give yourself money and buy a little equipment and figure out what they each do okay but that's it thanks for watching and see you next time if there's any issues with doing this if there's something that you're not sure on let me know and I'll make an update video or you know I'll write your message back in the comments and uh, I'll try and explain a bit better if I've not already explained good enough but that should be fine if you just do what I do they'll be working thank you and till next time guys bye bye